you guys for watching this video. Thank you for uh, supporting my channel. So if you find this channel helpful or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up. So please smash that like button, guys, so that uh, this video will be viewed for will be viewed uh, for more uh, travelers out there looking for travel updates what's up everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so welcome to our dear viewers our dear travelers and our dear subscribers so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and hit that bell to get notified more in your travel updates so just a quick background uh I'm Rachel Gamboa, your friendly travel agent. So I've been a travel agent since 2017. So I've been in the travel industry for more than two years now. And in my YouTube channel, I share travel updates or travel infos. So now uh, we have this um, news that uh, there is a current uh, travel restrictions for international passengers bound to Naia or bound to Manila. So because of that, I have gathered uh, these informations and I have different sources of this, so I will put the links of the sources that I got in the description down below for your references also. Okay, so let me read this for you guys. So, on the National Task Force Memorandum Circular Number 5, the National Task Force Against COVID-19 has released a memorandum circular on Tuesday, March 16, 2021. So, just this Tuesday, the memorandum was released in which there is a temporary suspension of the entry of foreign nationals or foreigners and those returning overseas Filipinos or roofs. So it is a sad news that um, those uh, foreign nationals and the roofs are not allowed for entry again. And then uh, those uh, roofs that are not OFWs or not overseas Filipino workers and uh, the period of that uh, travel period of that is starting March 20, 2021 until April 19, 2021. So why is this restriction happening? So guys, uh, it is because uh, I think uh, some of you, some of you out there is aware that uh, this is because of the rising COVID-19 cases in our country and uh, this restriction is uh, also to control the spreading of the virus here in our country, Philippines, and especially now, most especially now, that there are confirmed new cases of COVID-19 case in our country, like uh, this, the UK variant, the South Africa variant, and the Brazil variant, which uh, came from international passengers. Okay, so also uh the philippine government has limited the maximum number of passengers arriving from international flights to 1500 a day for all airlines combined into manila so before if uh, it is uh, 3000 now it is limited to 1500 so i i know and uh, i think uh, we all know that uh, there will be a large number of affected passengers with these travel restrictions okay so um, some might be asking why is it limited to 1500 so it is because uh, the government is avoiding having fully occupied of the quarantine facilities where OFWs are brought for quarantine okay so because um, uh, the RT-PCR test is conducted on the sixth day of the quarantine, so which means that OFW stays uh, really longer in the quarantine facilities. So um, that's why uh, the uh, number of passengers, uh, like the OFW passengers, that are allowed to come in the Philippines every day is, uh, or in the Naiya every day is limited only to 1,500. Again, to avoid uh, full, uh, having uh, the quarantine facilities to be fully occupied. Okay, so uh, some might be asking what specifically or who specifically are the travelers or the passengers that are allowed to travel starting March 20 to April 19, 2021. So here we have you in the list. First on the list, the OFWs or those overseas Filipino workers. And then... Next are those holders of 9E visas. So who are these holders of 9E visas? So we have here those 
foreign government officials. And then next, we have those passengers on medical repatriation and their escorts duly endorsed by the Department of Foreign Affairs or an Office of the Undersecretary for Migrant Worker Affairs or the Overseas Worker Welfare Administration. So next, uh, we have on the list uh, those distressed returning overseas Filipinos or the roofs that are duly endorsed by the DFA or Office of the Undersecretary for Migrant Workers Affairs. Okay, and last but not the least, we have passengers allowed to entry in the Philippines starting March 20 to April 19, 2021. We have this, uh, lastly, the, those passengers for emergency or humanitarian and other cases approved by the National Task Force on COVID-19. Okay, so um, the airlines also have given those affected passengers options so for pal or the philippine airlines the passengers has the option to rebook and have the service fees waived and then uh, they can also have their ticket refund and also they can convert the ticket to travel voucher so the pal will announce the cancellation of flights or the cancel flights in the next days so st stay updated with pal if ever you have your ticket booked with pal airline and then also uh philippine airlines has this uh facebook page where they always update from time to time any travel advisory from pal uh, okay and the next uh for Cebu Pacific, Cebu Pacific also has given options for their affected travelers or passengers to have their ticket rebooked within three months or uh, you can put it in a travel fund uh, valid for two years and then uh, you can also ask for a refund. So for those uh, passengers who will voluntarily postpone their flights has also the option to rebook their flights. Okay, so... To comply with the new restrictions, airlines will need to cancel some international flights to and from Manila during the stated period. So guys, uh, for all the travelers out there, expect cancellation of flights, rebooking of your flights. So you checked, uh, I suggest that you check your emails regularly to have or to check any updates of your booked flights if ever you have booked flights within the stated period march 20 to april 19 2021 so this has been a sad news for a number or a large number of passengers that um ha that have uh, booked uh, their flights within this period but um it is uh one of the way of the government to have this uh uh, pan uh one of their uh, way in pandemic control because uh in philippines it's uh the COVID 19 uh, cases is really uh, rising and uh they are uh looking for ways to control the spread of the virus especially um having this uh confirmed uh new variants of the COVID 19 case in our country so i hope that uh you learned something in this video i hope that i was able to give you um this uh, or, or I, I hope that i was able to deliver you this important update or this uh travel restriction so this uh, travel restriction were last uh were last within 29 days so uh, i will share with you another update uh after april 19 2021 if the national task force against covid 19 will uh, release another memorandum for it for this uh, travel restriction okay so for those um viewers or travelers or uh, so my subscribers out there waiting for some uh, domestic travel info for certain destinations uh, stay tuned guys because um by next week uh, we will be releasing some videos i cannot promise uh, what uh, destination would it be but i'll try my best to uh, make as many as I can because uh, I'm still uh, checking on its um, informations before I share it with you guys to avoid sharing um, wrong informations okay so this has been your friendly travel agent Rachel Gamboa sharing you updates for uh, your travels so stay tuned and 
please um, watch me on my next video so I think that's it guys so I think we're done with uh, the discussion of the update so if you want the, the reference of my sources of this um, travel update kindly check the description down below for the links I will be putting it in there for your references okay so thank you guys for watching this video thank you for uh, supporting my channel so if you find this channel helpful or informative please consider giving it a thumbs up so please smash that like button guys so that uh, this video will be viewed for will be viewed uh, for more uh, travelers out there looking for travel updates so thank you guys for watching this video and hope to see you in my next videos so once again your friendly travel agent Rachel Gumbo at your service bye thank you everyone thanks for watching bye and please don't forget to subscribe bye much love everyone bye keep safe and um, always uh, wear your mask uh, whenever you go outside bye everyone keep safe bye